Hello students, in this video also we are going to see the practical geometry in the, which is given in your textbook. Construction of triangle using altitude, when the altitude of a triangle is given how to draw the, uh, can, how to construct the triangle. So as we have discussed, first we have to draw the rough diagram. Up diagram in the right corner. See, no need to take any measurement, just to try a triangle and write the give the name and write the given measurements. Name of the triangle P Q R. See here, the name of the triangle is P Q R. Here, P Q R. I didn't write like that. I did not give the name P Q R. Why I have taken P as a top vertices, top vertex because the base given base is Q R is equal to 5 centimeter. This is the given base 5 centimeter. Sariya. It will be very easy, not easy, it is it will be little familiar for us. So, either P Q R you are in your measure panala. So, nothing wrong with that. But the payment of a triangle nala first line if you are under palaita. So, that is why I have taken like this. Okay, okay, clear. Then angle P that is 30 degree. Okay, then the altitude, then the altitude, altitude is a perpendicular line. So, last in the last sum. We construct the triangle using the median. Median na a line segment joining a vertex and midpoint to the opposite side. That is median. That is last one. That was the last sum in the, we have done in the last video. But this is altitude. Altitude is not necessary to meet the opposite side in the midpoint, but it should be perpendicular to. It may be. Sometimes it may be uh, the altitude may be outside of a triangle when the uh, if it is an obtuse angle triangle sometimes it may come like that. So because uh, if it is obtuse angle triangle if any one of these two angles is obtuse, uh, obtuse definitely the altitude will come outside of a triangle ok. okay. This is the altitude and we can P, Q or this name we can take it as S, okay. The name altitude, name of the altitude, they didn't mention the name of the altitude. So, we have taken as uh, just they have given altitude. So, P, P, S is an altitude, okay. Okay, let us do the fat diagram. Listen carefully step by step. First, we have to using the rulers you have to draw the line segment Q or 5 centimeter as it is given in the question ok. Then what you have to do what we have done in the last video look at the angle 30. So, using protractor you have to construct 30 degree below the line segment Q or 0, 10, 20, 30, that is here. So, this is 30. Thirty. Then, after 30, this can be taken as x. Now, we have to draw the perpendicular line to the qx. So, place the protector on the line QX and 90, 0, 10, 20, 90. This is 90, okay. Exactly. 90 degree clear 
this is x and this is we can take it as y then what we have to do what we have done in the last video we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of the line segment qr so take half more than the line segment then cut an arc above and below the line then place the compass needle of the compass at r then again cut arc above above and below the line segment okay see here draw a smooth straight line passing through the point of intersection of the arcs so see the ray qy and the perpendicular bisector intersecting at this point this is o then take the compass and take oq or or as a radius take oq or or as a radius okay see here so here i may not have the uh, enough i may not have enough place to draw this circle but when you do it in your notebook you have to draw it fully okay see here i don't have place so i am just uh, drawing like this okay so here i don't have the place so it is going out of the green board so i have just drawn the rest of the portion of the circle okay so now we got so for, see this is the common procedure for all the three kinds of construction of triangle median kuduthirundalo even though they are giving altitude or the angle bisector or median for all this type of question uh, practical geometry these are the common steps so if it is me median what we have done from this midpoint we will cut the arc if it is altitude but here it is altitude so pona samla pathinga from this midpoint we will cut the arc to intersect the circle and we will draw the straight line that is median then we will join the rest of the vertices to make it to construct a triangle okay that is when that method we will use when the median is given but here the altitude is given altitude is the perpendicular line to the base altitude is a straight line ps is perpendicular to qr so what we are going to do take what is the length of the altitude length of the altitude is 4.2 cm so take 4.2 cm take 4.2 cm and cut an arc from the point this is this point is yes this is yes so now actually this is not p this is the altitude then this is 4.2 cm so now what we have to do then here if you have a set square you can take one of one of your set square and if you measure exactly this will be uh, 
4.8 centimeter from the um, this base and move little bit here then mark the same point mark the same point there also then draw a straight line through that point You know why we are drawing like this? So just we are drawing the parallel line. Just we are drawing the parallel line. So now we can the parallel line is intersecting the circle at P and P dash. So you can join this P dash or you can join this. P to form to make a triangle. So I am going to join here, join PQ and PO. This is this is the required triangle that we have to construct PQR is a triangle QR 5 centimeter and the altitude see the altitude if you measure the altitude altitude will be 4.2 because distance between the parallel line is always equal okay clear so this is the method to that we have to use to construct a triangle when the altitude is given so altitude median angle bisector in all these three method we will use same method uh, until we draw the circle after the circle we will use uh, small uh, changes we will use a different method to construct the triangle based on the uh, median and altitude and the angle bisector okay clear so, so there are some questions in your textbook uh, you can uh, try those two questions uh, there are six practical geometry questions in your um, textbook in the exercise so two based on median two based on altitude and the two ba and the two based on um, angle bisector so uh, using this method you can solve all the all the questions which are given in your textbook. Okay, thank you.